Hey guys, Scott with the Bass Tank here. I've got Matt Pangrack with me from BTL, as you very well know him. Uh, Matt's been hard on the tournament trail, and he came in to see us just a couple little maintenance things, nothing big, but you've been been wearing out the boat, and uh, we've been wanting to get on the water and talk about some live scope settings, and so we just got back, and we just want to kind of go over some of the things that we went over. Matt, what's your impression after being out on the water and, and kind of seeing that your boat's been put through it, and now you hopefully your eyes are open to some things yeah so to me it's all about maximizing the performance if you're going to come to a place like the bass tank you're going to spend a lot of your hard-earned money to yep. put high-end electronics out it's about maximizing it and my issue is i'm really good at using things i'm really good at understanding things but i'm not good at maximizing them because i'm afraid to go up and start hitting stuff and yep. tweaking it and then you're in the position where you don't know how to get it back to how you had so it's nice to have you and the guys at the bass tank around to where i can come in and say hey i think it could be better and then to learn from you guys and that's kind of what we did out on the water uh you didn't just fix there's nothing yeah. wrong with it it was right. working but i was like a degree off because i had hit a stump yeah. you taught me how to line up the that that yeah. 34 transducer you talked to me a little bit about gain we went through some color palettes we went through uh, making things really pop, just things that, that take it from an 8 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. Yeah. And, and that's the key and the importance so you know that you're getting the most out of your stuff when you're on the water. Yeah, absolutely. And with Matt, you know, he's he's fishing the, the opens. He's fishing some high-level tournaments. You're, you're trying to qualify for the leagues. Yep. Like, there's no bones about it. So you're talking about a guy fishing at the highest level, and you still see that he has the same issues that my everyday customer does. And so this don't don't think that you're alone and and having these i don't want to call them issues but just the understanding right so we're trying to continue to educate everyone uh, because like matt said out of the box which is pretty much what you were running it with yeah. a few little tweaks it was an eight out of ten it was great he was out catching fish and then i was able to show him a few other things to take to that next level um it's something i've said numerous times on btl is there is no perfect setting like i, I was trying to explain that to him on the water is this is what i would do for this water what we're seeing here but go to different body water and i may change it but you've got to get over that fear of touching the buttons you know um understand your electronics touch the buttons and guess what if you screw it up we're a phone call away i promise you i can That's walk how it worked with me i called up i said hey this and this you fit me into the schedule yep. you had a slot open i came in and now i have more confidence going out onto the water that you follow me 100 so the other thing is you know you've been hard at it dude we all fish we all get in a hurry you know the, the deck looks nice and clean this is not normally what it looks like it's got rods here you're rushing your next spot you know you kick this you kick that a few things got out of place um and so i want to kind of go up here and just show a few things just kind of our normal install it's just holding up really well it's been used but you know we just wanted to dress up a few things get you through the second half of your season so come over here we'll show you some few things that we did while he's here we added a piece of velcro here this right here is our cable management um, and we noticed it was sliding again he's out there back and forth I said hey let's add another piece here for structure not a big deal here um, on the inside right here we just we restuck a couple pieces there um, again the really? cables have been huge for me. So when I first got the live scope, one of the first things I did was I dropped it in the water after I'd had it about six months. And I was like, my trolling motor won't go down. And then my live scope went out. Yeah. And I immediately realized I had sliced my live scope yep. cable yep. in yep. half. So I came back into the bass tank and I said, make it so it never happens again. So that's when this became your best friend, yep. my best friend, which is the Velcro, those things on the side. And now I don't have to worry about that. So it was literally for months every yeah. time i dropped it i'd be like am i gonna hit because yeah. i was a little shell shocked yeah. but that takes all the worry out just with pieces of velcro and positioning of where the cable one of and you're not alone and, yeah. you know unfortunately we've got customers that do call us the same thing hey this happened and and one reason i love the velcro versus electrical tape or you know zip ties are a no-no because you can pinch this you know dimple this what i love about the velcro is there are times i raise and lower my trolling motor yep um, and with the Velcro, I can just undo it, move my trolling motor and restrap right there. If I've got electrical tape or zip ties, I've got to cut that. And now my cable is going to flop around as I'm in that shallow water. And so this, I literally just undo it, redo it right then and there, boom, away I go. Not a big deal today, but just, you know, thanks for stopping by and Matt, thanks for coming by. And, uh, you know, I'll be on BTL for too long, I think, right? Yeah, so, yes. Normal guest, you got to come back on and talk about some nerdy stuff. Yeah, I'll go nerd out on BTL. So guys, pay attention to that, that, that uh, episode will be coming soon.